What is going on my frosty friends? My name is Winter Cast Ice and welcome to a new Frosty Talks. Hey guys, so uh, uh I'm not having a great week. Um so I'm sorry that this is once again coming out later than I want to to be. But uh unfortunately it is what it is and I uh, it, it's been a, it's been an important week. But either way, just let's start off with the stream schedule for this week. Uh, I did not stream Monday like I was planning to. I had ended up having to do some other stuff, and I had a bit of an emergency. Uh, but I will be streaming Thursday, more Horizon Zero Dawn. Friday, uh, I do not know what I'm going to be streaming yet. Uh, because we actually are pushing D&D to Saturday. So I do not know what I'm going to be streaming Friday. I will let you guys know as I do. Uh, but Saturday, we will be doing D&D night. Uh, Again, got pushed back uh, because of players' uh, scheduling difficulties. Uh, and then Sunday or Monday, depending on how my schedule goes, I will be streaming some more Remnant from the Ashes. So, <sighs> I've been doing, as you guys know, I've been dealing with a lot more adult stuff recently as some stuff has been coming up. My responsibilities have increased, and I'm not. I don't exactly have as much free time as I used to, and I used to, that's why I haven't been posting videos as much. I, I want to sit down and record, I want to take the time to do it, but it's like I'm doing so much aside from that, that it's hard to actually take an hour, two hours, three hours to record and then edit and then post. It's not because I don't love doing it, because I do. But I say, I want to continue the series that I've started. There's a couple of games I've been wanting to get to, but I just, I haven't. For this past week, I, the main issues I've been dealing with is massive tooth pain, which I uh, am going to be having oral surgery on the 18th. Uh, just a prequel for you guys, uh, a preview, uh, about two weeks, a little, about a little over two weeks. I'm probably going to try to squeeze in a couple of streams on Monday and Tuesday instead of Friday and Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday because I'm having oral surgery on the 18th and the 19th. Well, the 18th I'm having the surgery, but the 18th and 19th, I'm not really gonna be able to talk much. My mouth is gonna be kind of swollen and I'm not gonna be able to talk much because I'm having my two back teeth removed, specifically my wisdom tooth, and then the tooth back here, which both have curves in the roots. So I need to have an oral surgeon actually go into my mouth, get, cut into my gums and remove them. I will not really be able to talk. I might try to stream, uh, but if I do, there'll probably be no camera. But I'll still be able, I should be able to still talk, but we'll, we'll, we will cross that bridge when we get there. But so far, you guys can plan on that uh, 18th and 19th. I am not gonna be able, prob probably not gonna be able to stream. So D there probably won't be a D&D &D night that week. Uh, I, <laughs> I had one of my worst nightmares come true today. Uh, there was, after talking to the maintenance person, I had a, uh, one of the pipes for the building, the main pipe that connects all the apartments together through a water line to the street, yeah, it got clogged. And because it got, because it got clogged, it overflowed. And unfortunately, my apartment was the first stop. And when it came to that, and it, overflow, and it overflowed in my sink. It filled up both sinks, covered my oven, covered my countertop, covered my floor for about half of my kitchen, I had to pull out the stove and pull out the dishwasher to clean out the water so prevent water damage and mold from growing. That is how my day started. As I, we woke up, Briggs had crashed out on our couch and we woke up to, he woke up to the sound of water being poured on top of my fucking floor, a part of my language. On top of that, that nightmare, Today was also the day that I got Storm fixed. As most of you guys know, I have been talking about how Storm has been going into my cat, my kitten. She's, well, not a kitten, really. no, it's still my kitten. She's a little over a year old. She has been going into heat constantly, and every night she meows nonstop and makes it really, really hard for me and Abby to sleep. We've had to put her in the kennel before just to get her to calm down, and we don't do that frequently, but we used to have to do it once every like three days to put her in the kennel at night uh but she finally got fixed and i basically spent the entire day i have something in my eyelash uh but as a i i still have something in my eyelash i 
basically spent the entire day with my kitten and making sure that she didn't pick at her wound because she is supposed to leave it alone. There we go, finally got it. But she's supposed to leave it alone, so that way she doesn't mess with the sutures. And honestly, I wanted to record. I wanted to take today to record and catch up on my recordings. There's so many games I want to play. And I feel bad because I want to record. I want to. There are so many games I want to play. And there's so many videos I want to do. But I've just been non-stop working. And I feel bad. Because I keep promising you guys that I'm going to get back get to these games. I'm going to come back to these games. I'm going to be doing these series. I have like six or seven games I've wanted to go back. And some of them I could, some of them I could finish if I could just sit down for an afternoon and record nonstop and not have to worry about, you know, working, wake, having to wake up early to get to work, uh, having to take the time to do my fatherly responsibilities, having to take care of. You know, having to help Abby take care of my girls and basically every other chore that either Abby can't do because she doesn't have a license, I'm the one who drives, or I'm helping out my, my real family right now, my biological family, I'm helping them out. They're, they've been dealing with a lot of stuff. My grandmother had soldier, my, had shoulder surgery not that long ago and I was her, I was the one taking her to, I was the one who was helping her get ready for that as she was getting exercise stuff ready to go for when she comes back. I've been helping my grandfather and spending time with him, which I love him dearly and I want to. And it's just, and my friends, uh, my bio, my IRL friends, uh, Travis and Briggs and all them, they've been reaching out to me recently. They've been wanting me to actually spend some time with them. And, you know, it, it's one of those things where a conflicting schedule, I work nonstop. I don't get free moments and it's just like with what time I have left I, I, I maintain the streams because I, I do my damnedest to make sure those streams continue because I do not want this to stop I love doing this stuff on YouTube I want to do stuff on YouTube and do stuff on Twitch I've just been so busy recently not to mention Jesse when the day the, the day this video was posted which is the second is my daughter's first day of school kindergarten and I've been spending most of today with my with Abby getting stuff ready for her to go to school because she's going to school when COVID is a thing. So we have to make sure everything's ready to go, everything's clean, everything's ready. She has her mask. She knows what she's doing because I am a nervous wreck. I really just want to take a second and say I'm sorry. I don't want you guys to feel like I'm neglecting you or making false promises. I do I do I do my best to try to maintain a transparent relationship with you guys. I do my best to make sure that there are no barriers between me and you guys so you can see what I'm going through and I can talk to you guys about anything that I do. And it's just gotten harder. There are many times I feel like I do a lot for other people and I stretch myself way too thin and I just, I feel bad. I, I really hate letting people down. When friends ask me for help, I feel compelled that I can't say no. When my family asks me for help, I can't help but feel compelled to say yes. And when it comes to all the other things that I want to do, family has always come first to me. And f I've, so I'm always helping take care of my girls. I'm always helping getting my apartment clean. I'm always doing my best to take care of Abby and, the, and my cats. And I'm doing my best to make sure that I don't lose my sanity. YouTube literally is kind of my way to, of escape to be able to be myself without having to worry about being a dad or being a husband or being a best friend or being a son, a brother, a cousin, a grandson. It's just recently the past month I have been being I've been pushed nonstop being reminded of my responsibilities as a family member and being reminded of my responsibilities as a father and a husband. I've been 
in all honesty, one of the main things me and Abby have been talking about is we've been talking to the bank. We want to try to get a house, which is something I don't, I haven't been talking about because of the fact that I don't want to jinx it. I don't know what my odds are of getting a house. I don't make enough for that. Unless I got a second job, but then I'd hate my life. <laughs> I'm really sorry, you guys. I really am doing my best. If you guys don't want to forgive me, you don't have to. I, I won't blame you guys if you hold it against me and talk down to me and treat me like I like I've been at making promises that I cannot keep but I do just want to own up and say I'm sorry I don't mean to lie to you guys and I don't mean to keep you guys in the dark because there's just there's so much I want to do and I've just I've been pushing myself non-stop to do it all I want to do is take one day to actually like sit down and record. I mean, between five or six games that I've been wanting to play, I and I keep saying, okay, today is the day, and then something comes up. Okay, now I can do this, but now this needs to get done, or you or this will happen, and then you're screwed. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll do it tonight when the girls go to bed. Now it's getting too late, and you work at 6 in the morning, so you can't stay up until 2, 3 in the morning. And it's always something, and I feel bad. Because they're games that I want to play for you guys, and want to play for myself. Because they're just games I've wanted to. I wanted to go back and finish Resident Evil 3. I wanted to go back and play... Uh, Persona 5, I wanted to start playing Destroy All Humans. Destroy All Humans was, is one of my favorite games I've ever played. And it's not part of my childhood. There are so many indie games that are made every day that I want to check out and play. And just enjoy and have a good time. Just... Not to mention Bloodborne that I want to continue playing because I want to beat the game. I'm not close to the ending. I don't believe I'm. I think I'm not even. I think I'm getting close to halfway. Maybe. I don't really know how long Bloodborne is. It's probably quite a ways. Not to mention all the new games that are coming out and the PS5 is supposed to come out in November, December, which I don't think I'm going to be able to afford if I want to be able to get a house. You guys gotta remember, I am I am a single person working a single job, and I yeah I got a raise, but that raise also kind of screws me in some ways. I I don't I I full honesty. I've gotten benefits from the government for quite some time, being a single dad working full time, and busting my ass. I still can't afford like full groceries. I normally get assistance for that. That's the only thing I get assistance for. And for years, that's helped me out tremendously. Most of the time when I was, I've was i been on this channel, that I've been on EBT for years. Because I don't make enough. And the price of groceries has gone up, not down. But now I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to get paid more. I got a raise not that long ago. When I started this job, I, no, I started this job, I was making, a, okay, I was making the, basically the same amount. Then the entire company raised the amount of money they were paying their employees, so I'm getting paid more than I have ever. I actually, not true. When I worked at a computer job, I was being paid the same. And I make more than enough now to be able to pay for groceries. But now I'm trying to get a house. I'm, I want to put money away to get a house now. And the problem is, and by putting money away, I mean pay enough to pay a realtor to help me so to solidify a house so that way we can go for it. Which, I mean, there isn't even a guarantee with that. That's still, you know, up to the bank if they want to take a chance on me. For all we know, this, this apartment is where I'm going to be for the next year, two years, three years, maybe. I don't know. And just... 
just but now that I make some a decent wage now I can't rely on the government to help me anymore they will see how they see how much I make now and in their eyes I no longer need assistance or if I need assistance it's very minor so basically that money I would have been using to you know help my situation to make sure I can eventually just stay off EBT period because I don't need it anymore I instead now have to pay for my own or pay for all the groceries and still maintain all my other bills and then still find a way to raise money to be able to pay a realtor to help me get a house which I don't know if that's going to work I'm 25 years old I act like a child and but the thing is that that's not necessarily who I am I act like a child because it's fun it's who I am I'm, I'm a very childlike person I enjoy the immaturity of dumb jokes and ridiculous situations and you know that that's who I have been and who I probably will continue to be because life is sucks man like it's serious non-stop and so many people I meet like adult wise treat it that yeah as an adult you're not supposed to act like a kid you're supposed to be mature and never worry about these things and focus on things that are important like video games are an, are non-essential so therefore they are not important TV is okay as long as you can afford it uh, I shouldn't focus on having my own hobbies or my own interests because my kids need to have their own hobbies and their own interests. I've dealt with those stereotypes for years and the channel was kind of my way to express myself and not have to worry about getting judged like that. I mean, obviously there's going to be some fucking assholes on YouTube that are going to, you know, take advantage of the comment section and, you know, treat me like I'm an asshole or a jerk or an idiot and some days I am a fucking idiot I, I make some bad decisions but so does everyone I'm trying to figure out my life and I'm trying to use the best words I possibly can because I don't want to ramble I don't want to make up excuses I don't want to act like my life is a pity party and everybody should feel bad for me because there are people who are way worse off than I am I just I want you guys to understand that I'm not trying to flake I'm not avoiding this because I don't want to do it it's just I'm so busy non-stop and pushing myself so hard I just don't have as much time but I don't ever want you guys to think that I don't care I don't want you guys to ever think that I am a flake that I just I do this for fun but I'm all appearances in real life I'm an asshole I treat people like garbage but it's that's not true it's just I'm a guy who doesn't know how to say no and a guy who pushes himself way too hard, judges himself way too hard, and I need to realize my limits and start making plans from there. My stream schedule is going to be the exact same. I'm going to be pushing myself to do four streams a week as I normally do because I enjoy streaming and having fun with you guys and just chilling. Whether it's just one person in a chat with me or even if it's just me by myself. As long as someone's having fun, that's all that matters to me. <sighs> Trying not to get emotional. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your day, your week, and everything that's going on around you. I hope you don't take for granted what you have. I hope you all take care Stay healthy, guys.
and I very much hope you all stay frosty. From Casey. Stay frosty, you guys.